Hi, this is Paul Lynch from Tank Model Channel, and this is my buddy Bill with Switcher in regards to the Tamiya 135th scale M1A2 um, Iraqi uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom. Uh, I finished the build now, and this is ready for painting. The turret obviously will uh, be taken off and painted separately, along with the whole top, along with the two side skirts, which are permanently in place now. And for, but are not attached to the lower body. The top top hole is not a piece is not attached to the lower body, to make painting a lot easier. The road wheels obviously will all be done separately as well, but they all will be done at the same time because obviously I want to keep the same colour for modulation or formulation to the whole vehicle. Um, I will be doing pre shade in this uh, switch done. I think he used a marker pen and it looked really good when when you see the camera. You can see that definite sort of darker shade around the, all the main panel lines. I'll be using an airbrush for that instead and going for a lighter sort of a medium grey just so it shows through my colour. The, the colour I'm going to use is um, Vallejo's 075 Sand and it's got brackets ivory so but that, that is a good colour I've seen a few kit kits made out like that so uh, Vint models made with it so I'm happy with that. I pulled the panels on the front a bit fiddly to cut and get them to size I must admit but I did get them there in the end and uh, and I used them, laid one on top of each other to make sure they were both the same size and then put them in on either plate. Because on the pictures you see there is a little bit of turret still showing the top and bottom on the front. And as you come round, I've got the same, I've allowed for that. So, And it's very close, very, very, very close to the measurements uh, that's called out for in the instructions. Um, <clears throat> I've noticed there's a, a, on a close photograph of the uh, top of the turret, I've noticed there's a, an actual bolt and it's basically there's a little bolt that's about there on the actual drop gunner's load so it's there. I've drilled a hole there so I'm going to fill that with a little bolt sitting on top and the same for the other side because I'm going to presume in there's got to be one of these wren as attachment points for the plate that goes around on the gunner's hatch area. Um, the aerials they're not in there yet because I'm still not sure whether I'm going to whether I'm going to cut the top of the aerial bit off and try and drill a small hole in both so I can get a, a couple of antennas coming up from there so or just put them in as they are in the retracted position but every time you see photographs of them the areas are in full bloom as I like to call them so I'm going to cross that bridge when I come to it because that can be done again towards the end of the build um, on this bit as it comes round I don't know if you'll be able to see it too closely but there is on the, the, the actual I think it's a laser piece, piece gunnery slot on the top of the, just above the barrel. I've drilled the hole out because I noticed there looks like a screw plate that comes off and I've seen a couple of photographs with the lens actually showing in that piece in there. So I've drilled it out and I must probably put a bit of clear uh, varnish in there at some point after painting it black inside and, and see if that goes in. And of course it's an easy fix if I'm wrong, I've only just got to put a, uh, fill the hole in and put a little a mark for, for the actual bolted plate that looks on there. So that was my final reveal before pre-painting, before painting. So all I'd say is uh, thank you for watching and um, congratulations to Switcher on his regards to his um, 1,000 subscribers. It must be nice to get that. I've only got 34, but I'm, as I said, I'm new on YouTube, so it's not really an issue for me. I just enjoy the fact that I'm doing this with Switcher and it's uh, the very first one. So anyway... Thank you very much for watching again and see you next time. That's Paul Injun on his way out.